And, I, and I'll tell you this, like dating comics is the worst because all we want to do is get a laugh whether we're on stage or off stage. If you get comics around each other, game over. It's like DEF CON 10 trying to one-up each other with pranks and practical jokes. I'll give you an example. Uh, three months ago, I'm in a green room with three other comics. This other comic, Dean, comes in late. He's hammered. He just stumbles in and he just goes, what's up, guys? We're like, hey, what's up, Dean? He goes, oh, not much. I got a new tattoo. We're like, cool. He goes, yeah, you guys want to see it? Sure, Dean. Show us this new tattoo. He goes, all right. <laughs> he lifts his shirt up, undoes his pants, and drops everything. Fucking jeans, underwear, everything. And we're sitting down, so we're fucking eye level <laughs> with his personality, right? As soon as he drops everything, immediately all of us are like, Jesus Christ, Dean, what are you doing? Then we go, all right, all right, show us this new tattoo. He goes, oh, okay. It's right here on my arm. <laughs> Direction. It's a it's a dick joke, you know. It's a little dick joke, technically, if you know Dean. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you a prank I played, but I gotta preface this very upfront to the very uh, classy ladies here in Tempe. Uh, you're not gonna like this story at first. You'll like it at the end, but in the middle, it's gonna get fucking rough. But just stay on the bus. Let the bus driver get you to the end. All right. Buckle up. All right. Now, last year, me and, five me and five comics, we go to Vegas. Again, comics around comics, trying to one-up each other, pranks, practical jokes, all that. We get to Vegas right around 11 o'clock. We go straight to our hotel. We check in, like, right around noon. We get our key card. We go up to our room. We're walking into our room. For the first time, we walk into our room. As we walk into the room, over here on the bed are, like, girls' dresses and, like, hair extensions. And then over here on the ground are, like, bags and high heel shoes. So I tell my buddies, I'm like, oh, shit, dude. They gave us the key to somebody else's room. We gotta get the fuck out of here, right? So we go to go back downstairs. Right as we're walking out, I grab two of my comic friends. I go, hey, guys, go watch that door and just don't let anybody come in here for like five minutes. <laughs> I go into these people's bathroom and I take the biggest shit, right? <laughs> Fucking relax, relax. Relax, you still on board? Wait for it. You're like this, I don't flush it. Like I leave it, then we leave, right? <laughs> Relax. Now, now at the time, it was just for me and my two other dumb, dumb comic friends. We were like, oh man, that's funny. We thought that was it. Well, we go downstairs, we're like, hey, you gave us the key to the wrong room. They give us a new key. We come back up, they gave us the room right next to the room that I just destroyed, right? <laughs> so we're in our room for a couple hours. All of a sudden, we hear a bunch of girls coming into that first room. So immediately, I'm like, guys, guys, they're back. Get the fuck over here. Now me and all five of my comic friends are just on this wall <laughs> waiting and listening. All of a sudden, you hear one girl just go, yeah, I don't know. Maybe later we could go out. No, what the fuck? Oh, oh my God, Lisa, Lisa, get in here. Lisa walks in and just goes, bitch, what are you?
Brown. All right, real quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how fat do you have to be to sweat from talking? Holy fuck. <laughs> what a pig. So sorry. Uh, 